Hello and welcome. This is Gigi and this is a weekly tarot reading for my Taurus for the week starting January 25th, 2016. And if you'd like to have a private reading from me, you can send me an email at ggleetarot at gmail.com. You can also subscribe to my channel. I would be very appreciative. You can like and share my videos with your friends and your family. And if you'd like to see where you could find me on other social media platform, you could um, look at the comment below the video and you should see me there as well. And now let's see what we have for you this week, my Taurus. I want you to know that before recording your reading, I meditated and asked spirit for guidance. And I also pre-shuffle the cards. And so we're starting this week for you, my Taurus, with the world. It's a powerful card, um, the world, in this position. I mean, the world in the tarot deck is the last card, the 78th card. And this is the last one. This represents achievement, completion of a lesson, of a journey, of a level in life, progression. Uh, it's, a, it's a major arcana, so it's a powerful card um, to have in, in this position for you, uh, my Taurus. Because it's a major arcana, so the energy will remain for the whole week. Okay, Let's see what we have for you in the near past position. We have here the Ten of Wands or the Ten of Rods, depending on the deck. This deck is by Morgan Greer. It's a tarot deck. And having this uh, energy here in the near past position could signify that along with that journey of completion, you're embarking into another one with, again, a lot of work ahead of you. Okay, so now that you have completed something, okay, wh whether it's connected to you or not, it could be that you have completed something that allow you now to work on the things that you desire or that you hold dearly, that you care. I see this because it's a wands, the element is a fire here, which means it, it just, you know, there's a lot of desire and um, creativity here in place for you lot of project ahead for you so it could be that now you have successfully completed whatever needed to, to to be and now you have this confidence with you but you know in a mundane description the ten of rods the ten of uh ones represent burdens it represent a lot of work okay sometimes obstacles but when it's next to the world, and when you have the world, which is, again, a completion, it's just to let you know that, listen, you have brand new dreams ahead of you, brand new endeavor and passion, okay? So this is where you are, and this is what keeps your life, is for you to be able to dream and better yourself or gain knowledge or whatever you seek. So it's a great energy for you this week, my Taurus. And let's see what we have in the um, future position. We have here the five of ones or the five of rods, depending of, you know, which uh, tarot deck you have. The element is still fire. And here this, you know, it could be an energy of, uh, you know, dealing with others, disagreement on, or opinions on how to proceed or how to go forward. Because it's next to... The element of fire, I would say sometimes it could represent in terms of career, because again, fire could, you know, represent desire, career, work. It could also represent hands-on training. So it could mean that, you know, now that you have completed whatever you have, com you know, you wanted to do, you're looking at, you know, bettering yourself. And one of the things that you're looking at is training. Maybe there's a lot of training. Maybe there's a lot of skill that you want to um obtain in you know in you gaining other you know other gains 
which could relate to whatever you know you value in life it's knowledge if it's money if it's love if it's creativity you know this is a general reading but i feel here that it's just to let you know that whatever you're looking at there may be some type of like competition or you know like i said hands-on learning maybe you may have to deal with people that you're you that or that you're not related you know that are not related with you and there's some type of like you know um disrupt you know disruptive energy or dispute you know we you know, sometimes we don't get along with everybody. It doesn't mean that you'll, be, you'll partake in it, but you'll, the energy will be kind of like very fiery. Sometimes when you with a lot of people that have creativity, people have different type of ideas. So that it could be this as well for you, my Taurus. And let's see what we have in the position of the outcome for you next week. We have the Yerophant in the outcome position. So I feel here that you may be called to, again, uh, mediate this situation with people that you may not know, you know, or people that you just get to know. You may have to now take a step and say, okay, well, there's an issue here, you know, uh, there's, uh, you know, maybe a different view of or perception or opinions that may separate us, but how can, what could we do to, you know, come back together and achieve our goals because the hierophant here is you know yes it's a very how can i say um conservative conservative card meaning that you know this is right this is wrong and yes to this if it's spiritual and it's you know for the greatest good no if it's you know it's a very you know um it's a card about you know belief i could say this so it could mean that here you'll be asked to, again, you know, work on different type of uh, belief with different or a different type of belief. And through that, find some type of mediation with others or find some type of unity with others, you know. But you'll be put in a position where, you know, people may seek you as a, you know, seek your advice. Or if they don't, you may have to provide your advice. But it's a very good card because next even if it's not next to the world, but having this with the world, it's just mean that at this moment, whatever you're you're teaching others or you're trying to achieve with, you know, with others, it will be for the greater good, and the others will perceive you as being the you know ultimate voice of reason. You know, they'll know that you're coming from a good place. So use this energy, you know, to bring people together, and I know that you will, my Taurus. It'll be a great week. Okay. Sending you lots of kisses. Mwah. I love you, my Taurus. Bye.